a scientist? Quick question for you. If I were to put this clementine in water, do you think it would sink or float? Hmm. Interesting. I think this calls for an experiment. Mimi. Welcome to Jocelyn Presents. Here's Jocelyn. Ah, that's me. Before we get started, let's inspect our clementine. We can look, smell, and feel closely. What do you notice? You might notice that it is round, it's orange, and it has these little circles all around it. So what do you think? Sink or float? Drum roll, please! It floats! This is because of something called density. Density is basically how compact something is. See, everything around us is made up of molecules. Sometimes those molecules are really close together. That's high density because they're so compact. But if the molecules are more spread out and there's more space in between them, that's lower density because they're not as compacted. Density can help us figure out if something will sink or float. So now let's look at the clementine again. These little circles that are on the peel are tiny little air pockets that create space and make the clementine less dense than the water. So it floats. But what do you think will happen if we peel the clementine? And we're going to get it down to the smallest unit. So a single slice of citrus. Oh, <laughs> oops. So now what do you think? Sink or float? Drum roll, please. It sinks. It sunk to the bottom. Unlike the peel, this single slice doesn't have those tiny air pockets to create space. So this slice is more compact, more dense, and sinks to the bottom. Interesting. You can try this with all sorts of objects and test whether they are less dense than water or <laughs> more dense than water. What should we test next? I don't know, but I sure did work up an appetite. <laughs> See you next time, scientists. Thanks for visiting.